As winter approaches, the removal of the Caltech Submillimeter Observatory from the summit of Mauna Kea is ongoing. Uh, it should, I think we should clarify the language. The University of Hawaii's Mauna Kea Management Board held a virtual meeting on October 3rd. Executive Director Greg Chun gave an update on the decommissioning progress. So real quick, uh, on the decommissioning front, uh, CSO is moving along uh, rapidly. Um, uh, I, I think I may have shared some of these some of these pictures with you previously. Um, the work continues on removing all of the internal structures, equipment, fixtures from the inside of the observatory. The, the, these pictures are of the first sort of phase when Isimoto was up there, removing uh, the structure that held the the mirrors or the mirror. And um, that now needs to be deassembled and will be packed into a shipping container for shipment to uh, Chile. Goodfellow is up there now, and they are working on um, removing all the interior structures. What they're hoping to be able to, to do is finish this phase of the work sometime in the next uh, 30 to 45 days. Uh, and then the em uh, inside of the observatory will be completely empty. Uh, at which point uh, they will close down for the winter and then resume um, deconstruction of the exterior building um, uh, in the spring. Um, the work has gone, knock on wood, uh, very smoothly uh, to this point in time, and we can hope to continue that that continues. Uh, so we're really happy that that is proceeding uh, as expeditiously and as safely as possible. Uh, it's quite an operation. Um, uh, as uh, the project manager and the CSO Caltech uh, uh, director Sunil Gowala have said, you know, they, they don't have any experience in taking something like this apart. Uh, they only have experience in building it. So it's been a learning process for them as well. Okay. Is anybody filming this other than still pictures? You know, um, Caltech had actually hired a videography team to capture and document the system. Um, but um, what happened is the, the team members uh, got sick and they couldn't handle the altitude. So they've had to scrap that plan. Um, but they were up there for a day or two uh, at most. They got some uh, footage when it was first started, but uh, that is no longer in place. So uh, unfortunately, no. Too bad. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I was actually excited about them having a videography team up there, but uh, that would have been nice. 